This cow calved uh, uh, less than 48 hours ago and uh, she developed a mild case of milk fever uh, which I treated uh, with a bottle sub-Q under the skin. Uh, then I uh, also uh, I also uh, <clears throat> this morning I noticed she was a little unsteady on her feet so I uh, gave her orally a tube of calcium supplement um, and uh, I expected her to recover more than she did, and she's still logy, she's unsteady on her feet, she's up which is good, but she's unsteady. And a healthy cow should always be eating, uh, sleeping, or chewing her cud, and she is doing uh, neither. Um, milk fever is a result of uh, her body needing calcium to make milk after she calves, and for some reason the switch which tells her body to make calcium doesn't always come on right away, especially with older cows. So they pull the calcium from their system rather than making it, and calcium uh, has a plays an important part of muscle in muscle control. And without the calcium, she begins to lose control of her muscles, and it can actually be a fatal condition. The first thing that happens is she's unsteady. Then she'd go down and wouldn't be able to get up, and then eventually all her muscles would shut down, including her heart. Um, and uh, uh, so we don't want to, we don't want that to happen. And Melody is a nice cow. She's about 13 years old, and uh, she's very tolerant and very trusting. So she'll let us give her a bottle under the skin without any trouble. Here's the stuff. That's good for IV or for sub Q under the skin. Make sure it's this because you can really, if you're doing sub Q, because if it's not. Uh, it can it can damage the cow's skin. Okay, what does it start on this uh, Can you hold that? Okay, pinch like that. And you begin to see the pocket of calcium. for the bubbles to make sure that the calcium is flowing through the vent. It's going slow. This is, this is the calcium that's in under her skin and <clears throat> she'll absorb this over a period of hours. And it's a, it's a low dose. Uh, way to do it and that uh, re eliminates any risk associated with calcium injections. So I'm going to take this now, pull it out, work that down. There's a different, there's different techniques and ways of doing this. Um, some people like to put it in the shoulder. I prefer the neck just because the skin is looser. Some people will do it here. But you want to do it where the, the skin is loose so there's plenty of room for the calcium. But when you have cows like this with Jersey cows, milk fever is pretty, uh, pretty common. So it would be prohibitively expensive to call a vet every time we had to do this. So we've learned to do this ourselves and are fairly confident with it. The other, <clears throat> if she were down and not able to stand or walk uh, and needed treatment in a hurry, you can also uh, put it in her jugular vein directly. That's a little bit more risky and uh, a little bit faster acting, but uh, it's uh, a more invasive. This is a slow dose way to go, and even though it is a little painful for her right now, um, I think it's uh, less painful than being stuck in the jugular vein with that needle. So I'll watch the last of it go down.
that's it. Don't want to sit on that. We'll reuse the needle as long as it's with the same cow. Um, and we'll rinse this out with water and, and put alcohol in it and keep it in storage with the alcohol in it. And then rinse it with water before we use it again. It'll take about two hours for her to really begin to feel the effects of that calcium. First thing she'll do is poop and then she'll start to eat and drink water and uh, I think she'll be just fine.